Here is my, my motivational speech to young people. And you've heard it before. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Respect your parents. And pull up your pants. Is that good? I don't get these young guys with their pants. Commit. It's either up or it's down. <laughs> Make a choice. When I'm walking through the mall and I see these young guys doing this, I just don't get it. Although it does feel kind of cool, Lou. I'm not quite sure why. <sighs> well, here's the one thing I want to say to you young people. You are young. You feel like you are invincible. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Do you not feel that way? I don't have to do it today because I can put it off till tomorrow. Right? I felt the same way. Okay? I'm 52 years old. And I can't say that without chuckling a little bit. But you have to realize that decisions you make today are going to go with you throughout life. You think you're 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. Let me tell you, put a picture on Facebook of you doing jello shooters off the belly of a girl named Tiffany. It will haunt you for life. Right, Lou? <laughs> <laughs> here's, a, here's a really quick story about that. The internet has kind of opened things up. Uh, about 15 years ago, hush. 15 years ago, I was, uh, I was writing a newspaper column, and I wrote a story about a young man. He was 21 years old in the city of Mobile, Alabama. He was a probational fireman, meaning that he wanted to be a fireman. He had joined. It was his first year. Well, they put him through an initiation, and the initiation at the time was sliding down the fire pole naked. And this is Alabama naked, N-E-K-K-I-D. Naked. Naked. Well... Are you familiar with a fire pole? It's like a stripper pole, only bigger. Right, Lou? Okay. Well, when this young man slid down this fire pole, he, he burned his junk to the tune of three degrees. And so I wrote a story about this young man. This was about 15 years ago. Very funny. He was taken, treated, whatever. Last year, 15 years after the fact, I get an email from this young man who's now 35 years old. And he said, I don't know if you remember my name, but 15 years ago you wrote an article about me sliding down a fire pole and injuring myself. I burnt my junk. Uh, I am trying to get jobs, and every time an employer looks online, they find your column. Can you please remove this column from the Internet? Or as my mom calls it, the Internets. Well... I had to write him back and say, you know, I would love to help you, but by now this column is on like a hundred websites. I have no power whatsoever to remove this from the internet. I'm sorry about your burnt junk and your resume, but one silly act 15 years ago is now preventing him, in some cases, from finding a job. So my message to you young people and some of you old people, Lou, is this. This really is the first day of the rest of your life. Think about your actions. Think about what you want to do with your life. I've got a 16-year-old. She has no clue what she wants to do. And the only thing I can do to guide her is help her make good decisions.